All right, I'm out here doing a review on my 1987 BMW E24 series 635 CSI L6. Beautiful car, isn't it? Thanks. Anyways, I just purchased it on eBay from Star Cars in Pompano Beach, Florida. Uh, don't get them confused with other people in Pompano Beach because there's some good ones out there. And I guess Star Car does it on consignment through these lots. And Star Cars is selling some shady cars. There's a L6 to show you the rear seat and air conditioning. Nothing, nothing, nothing on this car works. <clears throat> uh, it came with a dead battery. We had to jump it. Barely got it home. It won't shift out at first. I put a new battery on there. And of course you can see the transmission light on. Uh, check engine light. Oh, I don't have the keys. Check engine light will just flash like crazy. Um, that light won't go off. Uh, it stays on. I went to BMW. They said it is transmission. Uh, and this car, of course, everybody knows if you're a fan of these cars, it ain't going to be cheap. Uh, nothing works. Air conditioning knobs. Just... I'll get there. Just turns. Uh, has your lights. Can't even push it in. Radio. Aftermarket. Uh, this, you can hit a button and it'll just... I don't think you can see it. It'll just scribble. You see that? Just scribble a whole bunch of numbers. Anyways, uh, they said the leather wasn't done. Interior was redone. and uh, Yeah, I mean, it was redone. It looks like, you know, it's kind of shoddy. But I don't care about that. I mean, okay. Uh, I know it's a 25 year old car. Uh, we try to shift it. This comes off. Um, not, nothing works. None of the electronics work at all. I mean, it's so bad. Uh, this is kind of hanging down. You know, and it's like this right here, I don't mind. Okay, you know, it is as is. But don't say good mechanical condition with receipts. And then the transmission's out, and none of the air conditioning works. Uh, my email said the air conditioning works. Uh, here's all the receipts I got. There's nothing in the glove box. Uh, and as you can tell, owner's manual. It looks like it's been underwater. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, it's just bad. Look at that. I have a cold, so all the sniffling. I uh, hope it don't bother nobody. Uh, close that. Inside, okay, that's enough of the inside before this gets boring. All right, come outside. This little doohickey here, a strut for the thing. Of course, it's broke. Uh, that's not a biggie, right? I mean, we've all dealt with that before. Then I got loose wires everywhere. I mean, I really don't know what these wires are for. There's some, there's some. Uh, there are some, there are some, and of course, I'm going to assume that this is supposed to be covered up, um, but I, I, I don't mind that part. I, I am kind of curious about all these loose wires, and of course it's dirty. This right here, when I pick this up, as you can see, this heart is plastic, can you see that? It, um, it crumbled in my hands, it just disintegrated in my hands. That's a leaf, so, let's get rid of that leaf. Oh no, it's not a leaf. <laughs> That's more of the plastic. My bad. Just disintegrated. More loose wires. There was no brake fluid in it. This is the reservoir that was completely empty. Uh, so who knows? I mean, this thing could, the whole engine maybe just shot. Um, it's got this just hanging there. Uh, it's got old, can you see the old school fuses in there right there, that blue one? I, don't, I, I have no idea. Any E24 enthusiast out there, if you see this, let me know what that's for. Uh, Robert Murphy, that's R-B-R-T-M-R-P-H at gmail.com. Uh, of course, rust. Look at the rust. Look at it. Look at it. For all you to envy the rust. Uh, now, I lived in Florida. I know you get rust from the, if you live on the uh, Gulf side. Uh... So this, like I said, it's a beautiful car. I should have turned the wheels. You can't. I don't think you can see it. Anyways, I don't know what this doohickey is. It's just got a little, I don't know. 
So then when we come on the other side, this was completely empty. Can you see that? I mean, just, just empty. That's how it came. I didn't dump it out. Just empty. Hose are rotted. Hose is rotted there. Hose is rotted there. You can kind of see where it rotted away. It goes here. That hose is rotted there. So if someone was driving it, if they were able to drive it, I mean, with no water, can you imagine? All this stuff's just hanging there. Uh, another hose just sitting there. I mean, it's a bad shit. This right here is broke. Uh, I don't care about that so much. And this right here, you know, I can clean that. Um, I put a new air filter in there. It looked like a, a hamster ate it. Kind of like those wires over there. Uh, try not to move too fast. I know it gets dizzying. Uh, windshield wiper fluid. I'm taking it empty. There's there's a little bit of water in there, but it's it's, it's real nasty. It looks like I don't know. It's just sludge. Um, anyways, I don't know what to do. I bought on eBay. I contacted eBay. Man, they're so helpful. Uh, and filed a thing in there. Man, I don't know if you can see the sun so bright. I can't tell. Anyways, the rust is so bad that the the bumper is actually falling off the car. I don't know if you can see that rust. Because of sunlight. Uh, maybe that helps a little bit. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah. Oops. Anyways. That, I mean, just all rusted out. All, I mean, all the way around. Look at that. Uh, let me see. Probably going to get people sick. Like being on an ocean liner. Anyways, so, uh, there you go. Star cars, Pompano Beach. Don't buy from them. Be careful. Uh... It's kind of funny because they got it. I guess they caught the car at an auction. And uh, they don't even have the title for it. So they sold me a car with no title. Uh, they say exhaust. It's kind of cool looking exhaust, I guess. Brum, brum. Anyways, incomplete toolkit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if anybody got any advice or knows how much it costs to fix one of these, I really want my money back. Um, or for them to pay to fix it. There's a sunroof. Anyways, uh, appreciate your time. All right, laters.